In this section, we will study Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law. In 1845, Gustav Kirchhoff stated two laws called as Kirchhoff's current and voltage laws, which are widely used in electrical engineering. Before moving to the laws, let's understand some basic terminologies related to DC circuits. For any DC circuit, a node is defined as a point where two or more components meet. Thus, in our circuit, we have different nodes as node A, B, C, D, E and F. A point in a circuit where three or more components meet is called as a junction. In our circuit, points C and D act as junctions. Thus, every junction is a node, but every node is not a junction. The part of network that joins the two nodes is called as a branch. Thus, we have different branches as AB, AC, CD, DE and EF. Any closed path of the network is called as a loop. A path is said to be closed only when the starting point and the end point are same. So, in our circuit, A, C, E, F, D, B, A forms a loop. If we represent it as A, C, E, F, D, B, only then we don't get a B to a A branch and the circuit remains open. Thus, for every loop, the starting point and the end point are the same. A mesh is the most elementary part of the loop that can be further divided into other smaller loops. Here, the ACE, F, D, B, A loop can be further divided into smaller loops as ACDBA or CEFDC, etc. But these smaller loops can't be divided further. Thus, ACDBA or CEFDC is called as a mesh. Therefore, all meshes are loops, but all loops need not be meshes. Seriously. Pay attention. This is important. Consider a random point A where five branches meet. We have some currents entering into point A and some currents leaving the point A. Using the sign conventions for them, all incoming currents are considered as positive and all outgoing currents are considered as negative. Then, equation at node A becomes I1 minus I2 minus I3 plus I4 plus I5 equals 0 or I1 plus I4 plus I5 equals I2 plus I3. That is, sum of all incoming currents at node A equals sum of all outgoing currents from node A. This is nothing but the Kirchhoff's current law. Thus, Kirchhoff's current law states that the algebraic sum of currents meeting at a junction or node in an electric circuit is zero. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. As we studied, every component in the circuit has its own voltage drop and the sum of all voltage drops always equals the total voltage supplied by the source. Thus, V1 plus V2 plus V3 equals applied voltage V. This is the Kirchhoff's voltage law, which states that in any closed circuit or mesh, the algebraic sum of all sources and voltage drops is equal to zero. Before studying the law mathematically, let's first understand some sign conventions related to KVL. The rise in potential is considered as positive, whereas fall in potential is considered as negative. Let's elaborate this. If we go from negative of the battery to its positive terminal, we get rise in potential. We represent it as plus V. If we go from positive to negative, we find fall in potential. Thus, we represent it as minus V. Same conventions follow for the voltage drops also. If we go through the resistor in the same direction of current, there is a fall in the potential. So, 
the sign of the voltage drop is always negative and if we go through the resistor in the opposite direction of the current flow we get an increase in the potential so the sign of the voltage drop changes to positive in this case now let's apply Kirchhoff's voltage law to a simple circuit shown we have two voltage sources and three resistors in a loop B AC DB so starting from point B we get the rise in potential for source V1 thus we represent it as plus V1 now as we move in the same direction of the current we observe drop of voltage across resistor R1 so we represent it as minus I R1 similarly drop across resistor R2 is minus I R2 as we proceed in the circuit we get a fall in potential for second source V2 as per case 2 of R sign convention thus we represent it as minus V2 lastly the drop across resistor R3 is minus I R3 thus we get the equation as V1 minus I R1 minus I R2 minus V2 minus I R3 equals 0 consider an example by using Kirchhoff's law calculate the branch currents in the circuits shown initially we can assume the directions of the two currents I1 and I2 as shown applying KVL to loop a B E F A V can write the equation for loop 1 as 20 minus 5 I 1 minus 5 into I 1 plus I 2 equals 0 rearranging the terms we get the first equation as 10 I 1 plus 5 I 2 equals 20 applying KVL to loop B C D E B we get 15 minus 5 I 2 minus 5 into I 2 plus I 1 equals 0 rearranging the terms 5 I 1 plus 10 I 2 equals 15 on solving the two equations we get the value of two unknowns as I 1 equals 1.66 amperes and I 2 equals 0 0.66 amperes now plus sign of both currents indicate that the assumed direction for the current flow is correct in a DC circuit a node is a point where two or more branches meet a junction is a point where three or more branches meet any closed path is called as a loop and a mesh is the ultimate form of the loop that can't be subdivided further into smaller loops. Kirchhoff's current and voltage laws help us in the analysis of the DC circuits. KCL states that the sum of all incoming currents at any node of the circuit always equals sum of all outgoing currents and KVL states that in any closed circuit or mesh the algebraic sum of all voltage sources and voltage drops is zero.